What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now. And please don't forget to hit that like button after the video. It helps the channel out and I would really, really, really appreciate it guys. All right guys, so we are back with a brand new unboxing. Now this figure actually came out a while ago. Now I believe Hot Toys released this in 2017, but I'm not 100% sure if it was that year exactly. But when I first saw the pictures of this figure, I thought it looked really good. I just never got around it. No, I am not a big fan of this Joker version. I hated this Joker version, but the figure itself looked pretty damn nice. And that tuxedo that the figure actually was wearing looked on point. By the way, guys, this is the Joker from the Suicide Squad. So while the box is rotating in the background, there's really nothing special about the box. Just the front cover has a couple of pictures of the Joker, but it's really nothing special. Nothing on the side, nothing on the back. So without further ado, let's open up the box and let's take a look at the figure. Alright, so I took off the cover. That's the cover box we saw rotating on the table and this was inside of the box. Again, nothing special on the box. I really wish they would have added some pictures of the figure itself, but it is what it is. Alright, this is the figure itself. Let's pop this bad boy open. Hold on, let me take this out of this mini box that it comes with. Ah, look, and it has its own background stand. Which is pretty cool. I think Hot Toys stopped doing that for some reason. I don't know why. They used to do that a lot, but... I'm not saying these things were the best things in the world because they could have been bigger than this. But for some reason, they just stopped doing these things. I don't know why. Man, the figure looks amazing as it is right now. I can't wait to take this thing out. That tuxedo looks pretty good, man. I mean, it looks like a really well-made figure. Come on, take this thing off. This freaking plastic is... What is this, taped down? Hold up. There we go. Sheesh. Wow, that suit looks really good. That really stands out a lot. Alright, let's take this stuff out of here. So we got one. Oh man, just two. And three hand gestures it comes with. Uh, we got extra pegs. Here's the Joker's cane. Got a little grenade here. He also has this golden machine gun. Really nice looking. Got the purple pistol. Alright, let's take out the Joker itself out of this. Man, this is wow. The figure does have a little bit of weight to it. And this is the stand. All these Suicide Squad figures always had these stands. I don't know why they didn't change it up. All right, so pretty much what you see here is what he comes with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these little accessories and show them to you individually. Okay, so the Joker actually comes with just three hands and that's a disappointment, man. But this hand is pointing this hand is holding, I guess, the gun because he looks like he's pulling the trigger on it. And this is also holding a weapon. So, I like the detail on the glove work here, but that's pretty much it. Alright, so this is the grenade he comes with. He comes with one grenade, guys. But then again, he only had one grenade as far as I remember in the movie, and this is it. Not too much detail work into it, but you know what it is. It's the grenade he had in the movie. Now this right here is pretty pretty cool because you can see that this is the purple pistol he had in the movie also. And you can see a little joker symbol on the actual gun itself. You can see a lot of detail work went into this little pistol. It looks awesome. The color really really stands out and you could actually pull this and it does move. The disappointment part about this is that they only gave us one of these guns. They should have given us two of them. But I like the way it looks. There's a lot of detail work into this.
Yeah, now check this out. Now this looks awesome. Look at the way this machine gun looks. You can take this out. It does have little bullets in there. But I love the way the gold looks on this machine gun. This machine gun really, really stands out. Like you can see all the little movements I do with this stuff. I'm, I'm not even sure what you would call that to be honest with you. But this looks good, man. I, I love the way this looks. Check it out. I'm definitely going to display the Joker holding this machine gun. And maybe I'll have Harley Quinn standing next to him admiring this machine gun. This looks awesome. And here we have the purple Joker cane. Now there's really nothing special about this cane. There's really no detail work on this. At the bottom you see it's, I mean it's really nothing special. It's a little bit of detail right here on the top. But other than that there's really nothing special about it. But when you display the Joker you also have an option to display him with this. And it will definitely stand out because of the purple color. And here we have the Joker himself. Now check out that head sculpture. Now that is a really, really good head sculpture. Hot Toys definitely captured the likeness of Jerry Leto on this one. But also check out his eyes. I'm not feeling the eyes because he's just looking one direction and I hate when they do that. But look at this suit, man. This tuxedo looks freaking good. It's really tailored made for this figure. Check out the shoes. Wow, look at this, man. I, I love the way this looks. Again, I'm not a fan of this Joker, but the suit and the body they chose for this is on point. Let's take a look at the shoes a little bit much more closer. Very nice made. Look at these pants, man. They dripped perfectly over the shoe. And you got the flower right here. The bow tie. And just had... Man, that head sculpture looks awesome. I just don't like the way he's just looking one direction. I think all of us would prefer the eyes looking straight ahead. But for some reason, Hot Toys loves to do that sometimes. And this is an actually good head sculpture. They should have just left it straight ahead. But all you have to do is tear it half and I'm happy to discuss with you in any way like why you sent a boy wonder. <laughs> to do a man's job. All right, so here I got the Joker posed up. He has the cane on his left hand. And he also has the gun in his right hand. Now, like I said before, that tuxedo looks perfect on this figure. Just look at it. All right, so here I got him with a regular pose. He's holding the gun in both of his hands. I wonder if I switched the head with another Joker head and put it on this body, how it would look. All right, in this pose, I got him holding the grenade in his right hand and in his left hand, he's holding the golden machine gun. Now this pose right here is my favorite pose of them all. Look at how cool it looks with him holding that machine gun. It looks like he's shooting it. He has his knees bent a little bit. This is definitely my favorite pose. This looks so freaking awesome. Let's go around one more time and take a look at how awesome this pose looks. Alright guys, so this is where I give you my rating on this figure from 1 through 10. I would like for you guys to participate and let me know what rating you would give it from 1 through 10. Leave it in the comment section below and let me know. Now I know this figure came out a while ago and I never got a chance to get it, but I always wanted to. And I finally did. I'm happy with the figure. Now what would I rate this figure from 1 through 10? I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Now the reason why I didn't give it a perfect 10, it's because when you try to lift up his arm towards his face a little or towards his head, it's kind of hard because of the suit. It restricts it from bending the arm all the way up. And I really wanted to get a really awesome pose with him pointing the gun to his head or he's holding the gun to the side of his face. And that was a little bit too hard. Like you can't really do it because of the suit. Also, I wish they would have given us another head sculpture with a different expression on his face. Maybe him yelling with his mouth wide open and his eyes directly looking straight ahead instead of to the side. 
so this is why I give it a nine and a half other than that this figure is awesome I do recommend anybody who already has the Justice League line Aquaman the Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, get this one to complete your Justice League collection. Or you could also hold off because I believe Hot Toys will eventually make the Snyder Cut Joker version, but it's not guaranteed because you already know Hot Toys for some reason they always take like two years to make something and sometimes they don't even bother with it so who knows. But if you do get an opportunity to get this figure, I do recommend to get it. It definitely has a presence to it. It definitely is eye-catching. Especially if you have him posed up next to Batman. This would look really nice. Alright guys, thank you so much again for stopping by and checking out this unboxing. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now. And please don't forget to hit that like button after the video. It helps the channel out. And I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you guys again. And I'll see you on the next unboxing. Peace. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman.